everyone i hope everybody is well blessed and enjoying family and as always do allow me to thank everybody for you guys' words prayers and your amazing support from the corazon as always i appreciate every one of you now for today i'm going to sidetrack a little bit and just basically touch on what people have been asking me lately, which is what's harder for us today. Is it California, the feds, or Mexican prisons? And hands down, it's Mexican prisons. You know, we have the losing end of everything. For one, we're a number. For two, we're just basically down here paying favors for others, right? We stay true to our roots but we have no say so down here as you guys will tell them this story for those that have been with me we'll be able to put it together and for those that are new you know from the story of Becca Ranza and how they received us this is part of that as soon as I get here in my story I will put it all together for you guys but you know we were well aware that it wasn't like California where you had other choices. Here we just men up and receive what was coming. Like at this, we knew if they weren't a god and not. Uh, well, you guys would see, it was it. We were out, period, right? But we're still gonna buck up the way we're supposed to for our beliefs. But anyways, I have to put this together for you guys as those that have been here know. So I hope I'm able, it's able to make some sense, right? My love to everybody. Hey, muy buenas noches to everyone. I hope everybody's doing well and as always enjoying family. And first and foremost, uh, please allow me to thank everyone again for you guys' words and for you guys' prayers. From the last video that got put up, uh, be sincere with everyone. I haven't really had time to to read through the comments. Is yes, it's been uh, it's been a little bit difficult at my end, you know, to the point where uh, you know doctors have been seen and dates have been cut shorter, and uh, you know, just a bunch of of human things, you know, which uh, I'm not gonna say they're gonna happen, you know. Uh, I leave that to a higher power, and uh, so it, it it is what it is, you know. It's just uh, a lot more things have been uh, failing or going wrong on me, and uh, it's just uh, just to make it simple for everyone, you know. It's just been difficult. Hope you guys understand, and uh, if you've been with me or following or my story, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, with this said. I'm going to get in a little bit of story, you know, how to continue off when we're in this penal that I've been touching up on the last couple of videos. Uh, like I stated before, there was a, a big old movement started happening inside, you know, to where uh, as everyone that knows how Mexico works or kind of, you know, mainly when the plaza moves on the outside, the plaza starts moving on that. On the inside as well, you know, and uh, at this time, you know, we were hearing about how it wasn't with the people who were aligned, you could say, with were taking over, but it was the the guys from Jalisco, and uh, so you know, we figured, you know, it was time for us to get our, you know, our our get backs. To be sincere, because uh. Like I stated in previous videos, you know, when we got there, we 
we really had him uh, we had him put on us gacho you know just for the simple fact that you know we were sureños and just little dumb issues that were occurring you know throughout the time we were there and all you know even though things eased, eased up a little bit still you know it's uh we still did it to us so you know we can't just sit back and just allow it to happen with no no type of response back you know so uh anyways you started noticing the changes inside you know is uh start being a little bit more paranoid when it came to where the feria came inside you know for example they had an area where uh, they had a whole bunch of uh, vatos uh, doing pita for them or belts you know and uh so they they had a whole bunch of their their crews out there and uh mainly there was a a couple other uh there were certain spots to put it like that you know for example Blas Leva, he had a little restaurant on Mariscos, and uh, he usually just had the workers there while he was there, but now he had, you know, two, three dif different changos there with him and, uh, to, to take care of him, and uh, we started noticing these little spots, you know, which we knew it was three spots we had to hit to hit him, you know, you know, at least to the point where uh, to have him feel, feel us, you know, because if we rushed one side, uh, you know, what we weren't going to prove a point, so, so we did what we know what to do, you know, we started just taking laps, you know, just starting, uh, picking up Kletcha, you know, eye hogging everything, where it was at, what we should do, you know, we eventually came up with the, the strategic, or the plan to, to hit the restaurants, you know, with two, two camaradas, and, uh, at this time, there was about, a good 35, 40 heads uh, of camaradas there, you know, and that's included the, the, the pilis. So we figured, uh, you know, the three spots of the restaurants, uh, they were going to be hit by two camaradas going there with fierros and hit the target, which one was blast. The other one was puerca and the other one was, uh, they call him chili or something. Nah, chili. He used to be a homie, supposedly, but uh, never once did he come out the closet where from or anything like that, you know. Uh, but anyway, so we figured uh, it was going to be six camaradas that were going to hit the points, hit the target. And at the same time, we're, the rest that were left, we were going to rush where uh, they had the, you know, the, the vatos piteando and hit all their little talabanes there, you know. And... For those that are aware of Mexico, we knew what was coming after, you know, but at the same time, we were, we we're going to get ours, you know. There was a, an old camarada that was with us in the system, you know, and uh, he told me one time, you know, mm, yo estoy dispuesto a recibir una, si puedo dar una bien puesta, you know, you know, which it means, you know, I'm down to receive one, if I'm able to give one right, righteously, you know, which was, we we're going to hit him, hit him good, and we knew what was coming next, you know, because they have not, had not lost the state at this time, they still had control, so we're going to make it worth it, you know, so, it's exactly how it happened, you know, basically, the only ones, to be sincere, that were, uh, that were nagging and complaining on, uh, on keeping things easy and allowing things to flip around and it was uh it was a three pillies you know that were there and mainly it was because uh you know they were dolphins you know tecatos they knew once we did this it was back to being arragado and, and getting stomped on you know and uh but it is what it is you know and uh they didn't have no choice but to roll with the punches you know because at the end of the day, for those that have Kletcha and know, you know, ain't nobody allowed to tell you you can't defend your pride. If you know what a Campolero is and what the Causa really stands for, there is no one that could tell you you can't defend your pride. Sureño has the right to always ask questions, and as Campolero, always have the right to defend your pride.
you know, nowadays it became something ridiculous to where, you know, dispensa to say it like this, camaradas are being punked by these people. But, you know, when I was there, I got taught by a senor, you know. And I got told numerous times by good senores that even a pili can't tell you, you can't defend your pride or say what they say nowadays, you know. If you touch him, that's your ass, you know. It's just, you know, back then, worst case scenario is, you know, you're going to lay the yard down, you're going to make it personal, and you're going to handle the business the right way. You're going to grab your piece, he's going to grab his piece, and you go to go to town good, you know. Now nah, they get, they hit the alarm, you hit the ground. Now nah, you're gonna go to town. You know, so anyways, I dispense, uh, I went off track, but, uh, basically, you know, the day came to where we were gonna do this, and I was in the team that was gonna rush the piteros, cause, uh, you know, once we divided the people, it was uh, about, it was about 25, 26 that we were gonna rush the piteros, and, that's where the crowd was at, you know. In the other places, it was uh, they, the homies were gonna get stomped, regardless, you know, because each puesto had a uh, had at least, you know, the main fool and four fools watching it, and it was just gonna be two shooters, you know. And so we all knew we were gonna we were at losing ends. That's why we were coming in blazing, you know, with with pedazos and and just doing what we had to do as much as we could, you know. Now we were aware that these vatos. You know, they didn't have, you know, what we were used to, like, you know, these weren't the California Pintas, you know, where you might be lucky to make a bone crusher. Or, nah, right here you had righteous fileros, you know, from the calles, you know, and uh, I believe it was like two weeks before this, before we even came up with this plan where they actually took out a gang of guns from this Pinta, you know, so... We were aware of what was coming, but it was like, you know, we're meant for war, so we're used to always, you know, doing things under a gun or, or you know, outnumber or however. So we, the point was, you know, they they ended up, you know, putting hands on us and we had to retaliate, you know. Even if the odds weren't in our favors, we had to make our presence being shown, you know, that we weren't chumps or punks. So not to make it too long, you know, the day came and, you know, it went like a little ladder, you know. For example, from the field, you cross the field and uh, there's a little, like, spot where you can sit down, you know. So we were all sitting there. And right across the field, it was where they had the piteros, which was the 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 Hamble Court. But from there, you were able to see two restaurants of the points, you know. So we were aware that... Once this started going off, we were going to rush across and, and go off too. So it was like, uh, it started happening, you know, we started hearing it and boom, boom, boom. And uh, we rushed across and, you know, we rushed up in there. And uh, at this time, there was uh, a couple of stekas I was working with them. So to be sincere, my objective was, you know, towards them, you know. So I went, I went at it towards this fool they called Pato, and, and we started, we started going in town, you know, and we got the best of them in the beginning, you know, you could say like the first two, three minutes, and, but then uh, after a while, it was just, it was just too many heads, you know, it wasn't like, like a California riot, you know, for example, where you're waiting on the alarm and you're waiting for a whole, the whole goon squad to run up in there and stop it. There ain't nobody going to rush up in there to stop anything, you know. We knew it was, it was boogie time, you know. They were going to do what they were going to do regardless. So, just remember that, you know, we started, from having the upper hand, we, we started getting stomped in, you know. And uh, I remember they, they beat us down so bad and uh, they, uh, they took us down to the Siete Locos again, and, you know, they stomped us in, and they left us, they left us, I'm not going to say for dead, you know, because I'm not going to put, put that much glory in them, but, uh, they left us stomped in, I'll just leave it like that, you know, and, uh, this is when I want to start, uh, finessing in my stories, you could say that, you know, because, uh, 
my objective to be sincere with everybody was, you know, to tell my story and then hopefully come back around and, and, and touch on how on all my stupidity I seem to lose track on how God or my higher power, which in my case is Jesus, right? I just don't want to offend nobody is why I say higher power. But uh was always there, you know. One way or another, he was always there present in my life, showing himself, like, telling me, you know, like, look, I did this. Take your mind off the focus of the bad. There's something good here. Which there is always something good in everything that happens in your life, you know. For example, on this day, you know, they left us that night like that, you know. The next day, I hope you guys saw. could really put your head around the fact, you know, that we we were just rushed a direct uncle from the Beltran Leivas, a cousin, and La Puerca was uh, number one sicario, you know. They got booked. Not to, the, All the other ones that we booked, they weren't really nobody, you know. They were just Talibanes that, that were under them, you know. But uh, regardless, these three factors were the ones that camaradas They went up in there and got them, you know. So the next day, they came from the streets, you know. Literally, they came from the streets. And it wasn't no more of them, uh, you know, beat it on same, con tablas or whatever you want to say. You know, it was, them fools really, really came in, you know, con, con, con guns, pi- started whoop, pistol whooping us, con cuernos and everything, you know, and, uh, you know. They got tired and told us they were going to be back, you know. And for you, for those that, that want to verify this, you know, when this happened, you know, it's a, it's real difficult to put a higher power in this, but I see it now, you know, and, uh, and I hope nobody takes it in the wrong way. I, I'm not in any way, shape, or form associating, you know, God's hand with, with something negative, you know, but... Negative happens every day, you know. But uh, I really have the feeling that these vatos, it was like, you know, we put hands on on his people. It, it was, they said it real clear. We'll be back tomorrow. They were trying to uh, get things direct in line with the director for them to be able to take us out and get us out of there, which they, they tend to do all the time, you know. That I seen with my own eyes. But, you know, it's... Uh, Like I said, there's been problems before, you know, from being down at Regados behind the fence. I don't know if you guys recall, I told you guys they had them behind that fence. The Cartel Jalisco took over and they removed every single one of the Beltranes. And you guys can look this up, you know, Becca Ranza, the big Nayari. There was 12 dead inside from the Beltranes. It wasn't us. It was the Jalisco's that that moved on them and took over the penal that day. Them cats, they didn't even ask questions. They just figured we were down there beating and it was because we were going against them. So they let us out. No buts or is, no, no, nothing is. What happened is we rebelled against these fools and they were beating us in. All right, you guys are cool now. Got kicked out. Now I'm not associating the negative in what happened to get us out of there. I'm associating the fact that I sincerely feel in my heart that this was one of the many times that I had one more day to live, you know. And it was just a hard power telling me, like, look, out of how many situations do I have to take you out before you, you know, you, you acknowledge me. And to be sincere with everyone, I still didn't. For a while, I didn't until the minute I felt I was drowning completely by being done wrong by these people. And I had decided to step back and really had the time to sit down and analyze every situation I have lived that I came to see all these things. But again, I don't want to bore you guys with, you know, my beliefs. My beliefs, I like I feel everyone's beliefs are personal, you know. So... I just thought uh, I would share you guys just this outlook I have for things now. You know, it, it ain't. Uh, 
I'm not on here to tell a story of how big and bad I am. I'm not, I'm not big and bad. I'm stupid and pendejo, you know. For all the stuff I endure and, and seen and that get done wrong and wrong. And as you guys will hear, I kept getting done wrong. But anyways, we got let out and uh, the the vatos that took over for Jalisco, it was a whole different cha-cha, you know. It was different and uh, they have a lot of a lot of similar things to Sinaloa and uh, at this time it, it was like whatever between them, you know. It was like they were cool because they were after La Setas, the Beltranes, mostly after the same people, you know. But I would touch on that, you know. I just thought I would share with you guys this little, I don't know if you want to call it riot, you know, but uh, it wasn't really nothing about Ryan, you know, it was just, we felt we had to defend our pride from getting touched on, beat in, and we went back, we defended it, but we got beat in again, you know, and just, uh, just a little looked in on how down the line I saw that God was present that day with me, you know. And I know it, it might sound dumb to a lot of you guys, and I apologize for there. I apologize for it, and uh, I just thought I would. Now that all you have known me a little better, uh, I would express myself a little more fear, fearly, you know, without offending nobody, you know. But I will continue with my story. Uh, I can mil disculpas if I went... MIA a little bit, you know, I've been bad, I and mean, real bad health-wise, and, uh, so I don't know, pretty soon here, uh, don't be surprised if I come up here and, uh, do what I gave you guys my palabra to do before, uh, I decided to, you know, stop this, which is introduce myself properly, you know, it's just, I will touch about on my health a little further down, you know, like I told Tony, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm over here BSing anything. So I do want to share with everyone all my MRIs, my studies, everything from about a year back to date, you know. But again, muchísimas gracias for you guys' time, words, and prayers. Y como siempre, you know, stay true to yourself. Stay, stay loyal to your loved ones. Stay loyal to yourself. Muy buenas noches, que descansen.